Hello everyone, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the best ways to use ChatGPT for data analysis. We're going to be taking a raw data set through the entire data analysis process, from extracting insights, performing statistical analyses, creating visualizations, and even building predictive models and generating reports. So to get started, you have two options. You can either start analyzing your data straight away in ChatGPT 4.0, or you can actually use the data analyst by ChatGPT. And to do that, you need to go to Explore GPTs and search for the data analyst GPT. And you'll see it's the first one that comes up and you can see that it's been developed by ChatGPT. And I'm going to use this one because I found that it usually gives us slightly better results than just performing it straight away in ChatGPT. So once we have the data analyst GPT opened, now we can start analyzing the data. And the first thing to do is to drag and drop our data set here into this box. So once I've added my data set into ChatGPT, the next thing I need to do is add my first prompt, which I'll have for you in the description below. For the first prompt, our intention is to familiarize ourselves with the data to understand what we should be looking for and the key trends, if there are any. So the prompt will say, act as a data analyst expert, summarize the attached data and give me an overview of the key areas and insights, give me ideas of what to look for in this data set and initial understanding of the main trends. And I'm going to enter that. So if we look at what it's given us, it's given us a breakdown of the main columns that we have in the data. So we've got the company, the company's score, the job title, the location, the salary, and these correspond to the tops of the columns. And it's also given us some key areas and initial insights that we should be looking at. So for example, company score distribution, you might want to explore distribution of company scores. And then it talks about job titles, analyzing the variety of job titles could give insights into the most common internship roles, salary analysis. And then again, it tells you the salary data is presented in a variety of formats, converting this into a standard form could be useful for comparison and so on with location and company specific trends. And then it also tells us the next steps that we potentially could do, we could use um, the steps that ChatGPT has indicated, or we can decide to follow through with different steps. So you can see just by doing this initial familiarizing exercise, you get the top overview of what you can do with your data set and what kind of information that it initially contains. Now, the other thing that we can do to also familiarize ourselves with the data is to add a prompt that says, give me ideas of what to look for in this data set. And I find this prompt really useful in highlighting the key areas that you could focus on to extract insights and ideas. And you'll see that ChatGPT has come back here with several ideas for what to focus on. Sometimes you have an idea of what you want to focus on initially, but if this is a brand new data set, you can use some of these guidelines to help guide your analysis. You could look at salary distribution, um, comparison by location, by company score versus salary. You can look at company score analysis, and then within that, look at the score distribution, high versus low, job title analysis, location-based analysis, comparative analysis, correlation analysis analysis, outlier analysis, market demand insights. And this really helps to structure the process. And the, the idea of this video is to help you come up with your own kind of questions based on your specific data sets. And so the next thing I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do is me descriptive statistics of the relevant variables in APA format. And I'm going to enter that. And you can see now it's created a table for me. It has descriptive statistics of the company score, the minimum salary, the maximum salary shows me N and shows me the mean, the standard deviation and the minimum and the maximum. And also it gives me notes and then it gives some guidelines as well. So this is a good way to start off your data analysis and start to note the key aspects in your data set. And now for the next prompt, I'm going to be asking ChatGPT to now perform a comprehensive analysis of the data set. So I'm going to enter that. And now you can see this conducted a very comprehensive analysis of the data set. And it's broken it down into the key areas that it said it will focus on, including salary analysis. And it's told us what it's going to do under each of these categories. It, the company score analysis, the job title analysis, location-based insights, and correlation analysis. And then if we scroll down, we can see now here the maximum um, salaries and it's created the relevant charts for us. And then we've got the top 10 locations by average salary as well. We can see that now we've got the bar graph of this. Um, and then and it's got the company score versus maximum salary again. 
And then it's gone to Tari and Naris's insights, telling us what the two plots show and then explaining the different insights. And then it goes on to say the next steps of what it's going to do. And we have a comprehensive analysis of every single part of the uh, data set. Here, we've also got a correlation matrix. And the great thing about this is that you can download each of these charts if you wanted to, and, and you can use them as well. And then here, it's got the insights for the correlation analysis, as well as a summary, and then recommend for further exploration. So it tells you what different things that you can do next. And if you look at the questions below as well, you can dig in deeper into the specific areas that you want to explore. Now, in my case, I also am interested in understanding the different statistical techniques that can be used with this data set. So for the next prompt, I'm going to build on this comprehensive analysis by asking, what are the best statistical tests to perform on this data set? And I'm going to enter that. The good thing about um, the response here is that it guide me in terms of the purpose that I want to achieve in, in performing the statistical test. So for example, um, comparing salaries across groups. So it says choosing the right statistical tests for analyzing your data set depends on the specific research questions that you want to address. So for example, if I wanted to compare salaries across groups, then I would conduct a t-test if I wanted or an ANOVA. Uh, if I wanted to look at correlation and association, then I could look at Pearson correlation or Spearman correlation. If I wanted to predict the continuous dependent variable, for example, the salary, then I could conduct regression analysis and so on. So say, for example, I wanted to conduct a correlation analysis. So I'm going to enter here. I'm going to choose one of these tests and I'm going to say conduct a correlation analysis. you can see it's given us the graph that I need for this. So this is the matrix that I need, and then a correlation analysis result, and then the interpretation of the result as well. So the next prompt, I'm actually going to use one of the questions that it has at the bottom, which is, can you perform a regression analysis? Okay, and as you can see that it's now given me the results, and it's also given me the interpretation. In my case, it's telling me that it does not significantly predict the uh, maximum salary in this data set, and then it has recommendations for me to improve my model to include additional variables and explore non-linear models as well, which is really helpful so and can guide me into the next steps that I need to do um, in collecting my data and in building my model as well. And so based on the above, given that the regression did not produce a significant model, what I'm going to write is a follow-up prompt that says, based on the above, suggest a better modeling technique. Okay, and you can see that it's come back with several models um, that are better than the linear regression model that did not produce um, a significant result. And so I can choose one of these models and then I can work with that to produce a better result. And so for my final prompt, I'm going to add one that says, using all the above information, create a double PowerPoint presentation containing 10 slides that captures the key overview, insights, statistical analyses, visualizations, and charts, conclusions, and recommendations. Okay, so you can see that now it's come back with the presentation. You can download the file. And if you go here, we can see that it's now uh, been downloaded. And I've now got a full presentation of the entire process that I've just completed on ChatGPT that analyzes the entire data set. So I've got the introduction here uh, and the data set summary. I've got the salary distribution analysis. Uh, it has the the graph that's related to that to play around with the formatting as well. You can see that the pictures uh, kind of cover some of the writing, so that will be, need to be amended. And then you've got the key observations. You've got the distribution of company scores. Uh, it's added the job titles as well with the highest company scores. So it's added all the graphs and the insights that it's obtained. It's added the correlation between the variables. And I've got the correlation matrix as well. And it's added the regression analysis that I asked it to um, perform. And it's gone for a comprehensive presentation. And as you can see, we've done all this on ChatGPT with a raw data set to start off with. Just one last thing before we finish off that video as well. If you wanted to, you could also ask it to generate a PDF report. And I'm just going to quickly enter that as well. Generate a PDF report of the above information. 
And you can see now it's generated the full PDF report. So I'm just going to click on that and download it. And I'm going to open the report. And you can see that now I've got the PDF report with the key information as well. It's not well formatted, but it gives me the general information that I need uh, for the analysis. And so there's multiple things we have done in this video from extracting the information from the raw data to finally generating the report. So I hope you find this video useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.